Hi, this is Ken Statton with MST. Um, we get some questions pretty regularly about how to install a belt on our serpentine pulley system, so I thought we'd take a little bit of time today to show you the proper way to do that. So we are here with the uh, uh, engine block section of it that we've mocked up for uh, our table exercises to do some demonstration videos and some fit checking things. Uh, we are going to complete our uh, instruction on how to properly install the serpentine belt on our MST serpentine pulley assembly. The tools you're going to need for this uh, particular step, obviously the belt. Uh, your kit comes with a Master Pro K040370 4 rib belt. And you'll need a crescent wrench or a 30 millimeter wrench to fit the custom crank bolt that comes with your kit. And you'll need a 5 16 Allen wrench which we're going to use to tighten the screw that holds the two sections of the idler bracket assembly together. So, uh, so let's get started. The uh, uh, Volkswagen engine uh, sets in two halves. Uh, the lower unit and the upper unit are, are uh, held in position by a strap around this alternator generator located on this stand, creating our center line distance between these pulleys. Uh, in an ideal uh, scenario, this engine will fit the original equipment manufacturer uh, measurement and everything will just fall right together. Uh, but sometimes you may have a, an aftermarket alternator or generator with a larger diameter case. You may have shims that you've had to place between your alternator and stand in order to eliminate some uh, fan shroud noise, uh, vari variations like that. And you may have a belt that falls to the lowest side of the manufacturer's accepted tolerance which may create a little bit of tightness when putting it together. But don't worry, it'll all go together nicely and it'll function uh, smoothly. So we're going to start uh, with the uh, basic assumption that these center lines are close to the manufacturer's specification and that this belt is of a nominal tolerance. We're also going to, for this video uh, purpose, uh, assume that you have completed the installation instructions up to the installation of the crank pulley and the bolt the alternator or generator pulley and the net assembly. Faces of the pulley are in line. And we have at least snugged down the idler assembly in line with those pulleys and we'll pick up uh, the final installation after the, the belt for tightening it. So we're gonna start with uh, the first of our two methods for installing the belt. <clears throat> we'll start by placing the belt around the crank pulley and then around the uh, upper pulley. And then we'll just take the belt, twist it in behind the idler bearing. And our belt is laying firmly inside of all the grooves. Everything's pretty comfortable. We will place our hand on top of the bearing, put a little bit of spring tension in it. You'll notice now that when I take this out, I've not tightened this all the way, but it's not moving. The MST idler bracket assembly has a uh, trademark design thorough face resistance, so it's not going to let that move. And we can come over here and we can finish snugging it. Doesn't take a lot, just a nice, nice, comfortable pressure. When you get that far, you should be able to twist the belt about 90 degrees and it springs back. That's all the tension you need in that assembly. From this point uh, in your installation instructions, You'll do a, a test fire of the motor uh, where you'll make sure the bearing and the belt are all in line and you can do your final uh, adjustment on the bracket, tighten it down, and, and continue forward. But all that can be found in your installation instructions. So now we've got our, our second method. So we're going to take this off for a moment. And now we are going to make the assumption that the center line distance between these pulleys is greater than the nominal tolerance for this belt is to the lowest uh, circumference measurement of the manufacturer's tolerance, which may not allow us to sneak in behind that bearing. If that's the case, we're going to start by putting the belt around the crank pulley. And this time, we are going to lay the idler bearing on top of the belt. And then we are going to put the belt around the upper left side of the pulley. And at this point, uh, we should have already made sure that our, our uh, transmission is in neutral because we're going to start 
uh, twisting the crank by hand and we need it to flow freely and we don't want the car moving around. So make sure your, your transmission is in neutral <clears throat> and set your e-brake. That's probably a good tech tip too. Now we're going to take our wrench, uh, crescent wrench or 30 millimeter wrench and turning clockwise we are going to twist and help that belt fall into place. And you may want to go ahead and twist it through one or two times just to make sure the belt plays down in all of the grooves properly. So now we're back to where we were just a moment ago. Idler is loose. We'll put our hand tight pressure on it. Use our Allen wrench. Snug. And we'll finish tightening it. I'm just, see, I'm just using my thumbs. I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it. It's not going anywhere. Again, with the tension on the belt, 90 degrees, it flops back. At this point, we will go back to the installation instructions. We will bump the motor through, make sure everything's in line, make our final tightening adjustments on the, on the idler assembly, and we're finished. Okay, whether you're an existing MST customer or someone looking to buy, we hope this video has been extremely helpful in showing you just how easy it is to install a belt on your MST Serpentine pulley system. So for this and other great billet products by MST, check us out, www.partsbymst.com. See you down the road.